Greetings, you're watching TSD TV. This is Karanja Janaku, executive editor of the new Tri-State Defender, and this is another segment of Back Office. This is an opportunity for us to share with you what it takes to produce a segment, an article, series of photos in the new Tri-State Defender. And today, I have with us photojournalist Warren Roseboro. Welcome, Warren. Hi, how are you doing, Dr. Karanja? I'm doing great, doing great. Now, you had quite an experience this past weekend, is that correct? Yes, sir, I did. It was really a uh, quiet experience going to the uh, Old Miss and, uh, versus Memphis, University of Memphis game, the cover of that game. It was, I had never been down to Oxford in my whole life. Is that right? No, sir, I have never been down there before. Okay, and what did you see? What caught your eye? What caught my eye is that uh, Coming into the city, all I could see was red. Okay. It's like, you know, illuminating throughout the whole city was red. You know, you can knew that that's Ole Miss color, of course, the red. And you can tell that it was something different about this city than being in the city of Memphis. They were, this is tradition, so like, and I said, okay. wow, you know. And they were going, go Rebs, go Rebs, and, you know. So I pulled into the park a lot. Uh, the media had the park over to the, uh, um, over the where they had the movie theater in Oxford, so okay, we had to be okay. uh, shuttled over to the uh, the stadium. How uh, early did you get there? Or have I there? I'm a person. I'm retired military, so I, I'm about okay. being on time. That's my mental. My, that's my motive. It was an easy game, right? Six yes, thirty. Okay. Six thirty. So I left. I got there about two fifteen, two thirty, I think. All right. All I right. left Memphis about one o'clock. Okay. And it was about an hour and a half drive. I was expecting traffic, but. Thank God, it wasn't no traffic. So you get set up, or you're down on the field? No, no. When I get there, the stadium wasn't really open yet. Okay. But uh, I got over there to the shuttle. I, it was an experience at first because I'm walking. I didn't take the media bus. I took the passenger bus. I just I got it got me over there. So I walked with my equipment all the way over to you know to find out how to get into the stadium to get my credentials. Okay. So it was so on the on the way there. All I could see these tailgaters along amongst along the whole way as so I'm walking to the stadium. You see any tiger fans? Yeah, it was sprinkled out, it was sprinkled, sprinkled out like a few little blue okay. in the crowd. Some right. tiger fans. It was some, but you know I hadn't I didn't see that many at okay. the time. I did when I first got there. I didn't see that many. It was just mostly red. Okay. So I didn't realize that I was walking uh, to the Grove. I was going the way the game. I, you know, I heard about you so much about. You experienced the Grove. I experienced the Grove. All so right. So when I when I dropped my quip, I got my credentials. Uh, dropped my equipment off, and then I walked. I kept my, one of my cameras, and I walked back over to the Grove because I wanted to hear about this history of this Grove. I heard so much about it. Cause okay. I had a lot of time to kill, you know, four hours, four and a half hours before game time, you know. All right. So I walked over to the Grove, and what I saw was they just had these groups. They had all kind of paraphernalia with the old Miss from 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 the nineteen thirties all the way up to the present. Okay. Uh, they had even happy people, Colonel Rev, you know, the controversial uh, mascot they used to have. What about the African American presence? Did you feel yeah, see that? I found at first I was walking, I said, Where are the African Americans? It kinda of, dawned on me. And then I saw they were, you know, it was like a, a tent and they had they had a, like a mixed culture of thing, mm -hmm. white with the blacks mm -hmm. and uh, I saw African Americans then. Okay. You know, because most of you know, the players are predominantly African American, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I didn't see that many African Americans until I got into the middle of the Grove. Okay, so Warren, you're at the Grove, you're taking in all the energy, you're finding our niche audience, the African Americans, and finding out where they are. So then let's spring forward a little bit. Okay, okay. all right. You're, you're, do you, how do you get to the sideline? What happens? Okay, after I leave the Grove, but one thing I want to mention about the Grove, okay. the experience that I experienced, I never experienced something like that, it's called a Walk of Fame. Okay. And where the Ole Miss players, they they uh, on the way to the stadium they pass through the grove and they have like a little walkway. All right. And it's been tradition for years, and and they intermingle with the players, high fiving them and okay. everything going through it. You know they high fiving the players. You saw the, I, I sent some photos. Yes, to you. yes. And that's that was the experience. I never experienced nothing like that. The okay. Losey asked me. I said the tires. We need something of like this. You know. And then I did get a couple of shots of tigers, uh, some shots of tiger fans. You know I took. 
you know, mingling in. But anyway, getting back to going to the stadium, I'm on the sidelines. I get there, and it's just an aura about everything. Okay. I, it was just a sea of red. And then I saw the Tiger fans. They had a section that they would represent. Okay. And what amazed me is the Ole Miss fans were loud, but the Tiger fans were kind of loud, too. So the Tigers came to represent? They came to represent, although all right. it was like 6, 70, 30, I'd say, the crowd was. Okay. But uh, uh, Tigers represented it, you know. And then I was amazed of the uh, so many media was there. There was a lot of uh, people that were there. A lot of media was there. So since there was so much media, did you have to jockey for position? And what kind of lenses and things did you have? I rented a special lens because I knew this was a special moment. Okay. I rented a, a, a Canon 300. Normally I shoot with a 70 to two, a 70 to 200. Okay. And along with my uh, a 24 to 70 Canon. So lens. what does this rented lens allow This lens you would do? bring me in closer, a little okay. more personal with right. these two teams, you know. And I knew this was a special game because Memphis, you know, they've been pretty this was a pretty decent season for Memphis, mm-hmm. in my opinion. You know, they they only lost to something I think well, UCLA was seventh, ranked seventh in the country at the time by eighth or whatever. And they mm-hmm. they only lost by seven. They won the they didn't play anybody, but they won six two to nothing, six three nothing, whatever their first game. Right. And then uh they played they won in you know, middle Tennessee, they beat them. So I thought it was going to be a good game, you know. But anyway, go ahead. So, so you are getting ready to position yourself. The game starts. What are you looking for relative to photos? I'm looking for something. I'm looking for the big play. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big play type of guy, you know, but I know I have to get basic shots, too. Within okay. the, with the realm of the game, I have to get basic shots. So you never know when the big play is going to come. You have to just be instinctive okay you have to just think that's going to happen because i i don't know it was this game i got a uh, when they picked the guy jumped up and got the uh uh interception mm-hmm. i just had a feeling that guy was going to throw the throw over that way so you have to zoom around and anticipate anticipate that's what anticipate that action of the game you got to anticipate that so and do you know at that moment that you've got it or is it deal when you get back to your studio we you know we all photographers everybody reaches down and looks at their camera uh-huh. we all check that moment and see okay. if we got it and okay. then the, even from uh, you know uh, joe murphy you know he's been around and he does proposal with the grizz even he looks at his camera okay you know, so it says i say nine ninety nine percent of the photographers look at the pictures after they take it okay see if you so, got that moment so what message might you transfer to any young person who's interested in becoming a photojournalist, particularly focusing on sports? Any message for them? Be aggressive, but yet be polite. Okay. You know, okay. you know, when you're getting that shot, be, but still be, you know, be aware of that other guy. You can, don't, like for instance, you, with, don't get in front of that guy for your shot. Okay. You know, don't do that. Okay. That is a bad move. All right. You might mess this guy's lifetime shot up. So you kind of jockey yourself and you get your own space. Okay. You get your own space as a photographer. You get your, you set yourself up and you look around. You look at your, your surroundings and see, make sure that that other photographer is not, you're not blocking his view. Right. But you can tell the amateurs, they get the lens all up in your face. One okay. couple shots, I got some shots. This guy, he was, and uh, and you got to be, it's just called, what's the word I'm looking for? And you got to be, um, uh, respect the other person. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to respect their space. You know, you have okay. to respect okay. their okay. space. You have to do that. I mean, I, and I've all, and then I think a lot of our young photographers don't be the one that be on the side with all the other photographers. Take get get away from that. Do your own thing. So what you're saying is be prepared to zig when others zag. Exactly. That's wow. that's that's my concept. Now okay. everybody's different. Now. Of course, you watch what these are better photographers be doing. You know, so I'm always learning from these guys that I that been shooting this game longer than I have. So I watched what they're how they position to get these good shots. And of course, you know, you're always out there learning because if you ever get in the realm of think you know everything, you'll never advance. So in that context, then this game with Memphis and Ole Miss was another opportunity for you to learn. Yes, it was. So always, every time I do a photo shoot, in my opinion, I'm always learning. Excellent. Well, there you have it. A back office segment with Warren Roseboro, photojournalist for the new Tri-State Defender. Thank you, Warren. You're welcome, Dr. Roger. You're watching TSD-TV.